So hey everyone, today we are going to discuss about Microsoft Learn Student Best Applications. These applications are uh, open till 31 uh, August 2021. So if you want to get considered for October current, you have to apply before August 30, 31. And as you can see here, students will be notified by uh, email approximately one week before the respective start. So you have to check your inboxes before the one week and stay tuned with those so that you don't miss any update about this particular program when you apply. So let's move on to the home section of this particular program. Like what exactly are the perks and all that stuff we need to know. So yeah, so what exactly are Microsoft Learn Student Investors? These are the students which help and empower student communities. They uh, conduct various webinars on technology, Microsoft technologies. Uh, they, uh, during a Microsoft Learn Student Investor program, you get to know uh, a lot of people you have a, chances to interact, network, and take part in various opportunities as well. Because in Microsoft Learn Student Investors, you are provided with different opportunities. You are provided with swags at different levels if you get reached to. So this is about a general brief of Microsoft Learn Student Investors. Now moving on to the next part. So what exactly is their logo? Be a force for good locally or globally. So this basically means that you are going to devote some time to help student communities to grow. You will be networking with some local communities or maybe some global com communities. You will be getting chances to even mentor and judge some super or great hackathons. So that's completely insane. You will be uh, earning some certifications. As I know, they are MTC certificate uh, codes and vouchers we get to uh, enroll in you will be building some digital communities because uh, the student program run is virtually so we will be building uh, digital communities so this is uh, all about the motto like now let's move on to why we should apply to this particular application so uh, applying to the microsoft learn student investors program you will be as i said earlier you will be getting to interact and network with a lot of people connect to various student communities and meet like-minded people so that you get to know like what exactly is going in various texts, how you can solve problems with this, uh, using these technologies. And you can also grow and your skills. Like you will be working and giving uh, webinars over different topics, uh, even Microsoft technologies. So this will uh, certainly going to boost up your skills as well. And you are, as uh, as this is, uh, they are saying, like you can also have some uh, trainings and certifications also. So becoming a leader. So what exactly Microsoft Learn Student Investors are? They are exactly the leaders which help others to grow. So they are maybe empowering some local communities by conducting some digital events. The events maybe about Get GitHub and all that stuff. And yeah. So next thing is. One, two, three, star. So what are basically the milestones when you get uh, in Microsoft Learn Through Investor program? So we are having basically three milestones. When you get enrolled in the particular program, you are, uh, first of all, new investor, which basically means you are just enrolled. Then after that, you have to complete one learn module. Learn module is basically some sandbox or type of project or maybe some chapter you have to complete in Microsoft Learn Path. So after completing that particular chapter, you will get promoted to the alpha track. Then when you complete uh, your first webinar or your first event, which will be having at least 15 members and you will be conducting that event on Microsoft Teams and and it should be on Microsoft Technologies. So after completing this particular event, you will be uh, promoted to the beta track. Now, after the next uh, beta, we will uh, get a transfer to the gold badge. And to achieve this badge, we have to work a lot uh, not a load, but uh, we have to conduct hack, uh, hackathons, webinars, and we have to interact with different local communities as well. So that's a really a great batch to have in. And yeah, you are all provided with Microsoft 365 accounts. You will be provided some goodies after every stage, I think. So you will be provided with certification at Alpha uh, batch. Then you will be provided with some goodies and swags. I will be posting uh, the pictures of the goodies which I received during the beta. Uh, Batch and yeah. So next thing is here from Learn Student Investors. So this is basically the uh, testimonial of all the Learn Student Investors. You will be having uh, their reviews, their feedbacks in this particular section. You can get to through uh, through this particular section and know like what exactly their journeys were during this particular program. Next, we are having like how Microsoft uh, Learn Student Investor program works. Like so, we can do learn more. 
okay so i think so there is some brief information about all the things all the uh, knowledge you can read this out as i have already brief you all these things so you also have some uh, regional calls also in microsoft uh, learn from mesa where you get to meet different people so we are having different regional calls for different countries and regions so moving to the next thing we are having some events in microsoft learn from investors first one is magic cup then we have reactor and i think you all can participate in these events if you are not enrolled in this particular uh, program so yes now let's move to how to apply for this particular program okay so this is the application for microsoft learn to invest program as they are stating it very clear like the deadlines for this particular application is 31 2021 so don't get worried if you are not able to complete this application at august 30 uh, 31 2021 uh, so because they are going to save your application and you can continue the same application in next current as well if you have not completed it uh, but if you want to get considered for this particular current you have to uh, complete this application before 31 august and yeah so there is one more point that you can also seek for a referral from someone you know as an mrsa so this is the point and the next point is for us students i think okay okay so next move uh, let's move to the next step privacy and terms okay so thank you for your interest in microsoft learn student investor program if you would be become the microsoft student investor please fill out the application with valid information so this is basically the eligibility criteria as an eligibility criteria they are just asking for like whether you are at least 16 years old at the time of submission of application and are you enrolled in full time in a accredited academic institution which basically means that are you in a college or university and the other thing is have a valid identification like you would should not be falsing your information so you would ha be having a valid information you should be uh, at least 16 years of age and you should be enrolled in a college or university so that's just an eligible basic eligibility criteria to be part of this uh, program your information is subjected to microsoft privacy statements and you can read all this information over here so let's move on to next section which is basically your personal information in personal information they are asking for first name and last name so those candidates who don't have last name either you can use a dot or i think you can also repeat your first name so you can try any of these i think dot also work over here okay so it does not so you have i think so you have to repeat your first name so try to figure out these things and the other things are like gender uh so in gender if you select female you will be having a different group which is uh made differently for my, uh, women and gender minorities in microsoft learn to win best bird team where you will be pro provided with some different opportunities maybe uh, which are particularly concentrated over women and yeah the pronouns she he her you can fill all these things out then contact mail uh, date of birth your country your state after filling all the personal information you uh, the next section is academic institution information here you have to put all the information about your academic institution which basically means you have to put information about your college so what in which degree you are enrolled in like i was enrolled in computer science so i chose that particular degree so your degree does not matter much in this particular program if you are good at public speaking and you want to contribute to this uh, community so if you want to then your degree doesn't matter so name like name of your institution expected graduation like uh, when you will be getting graduate because we do have some graduation uh, program at the end of our graduation so uh, degree level like bachelor's master's or phd whatever your degree level is application questions like uh, they are asking us to make only one video and two written samples so according to this you have to select like what particular section you are going to bid video for Uh, we are having three section one is inspire other one is teach and the third one is promote so they are having different question like what inspires you about technology you have to tell like what exactly inspired you when you got into technology and what inspires you to be in that particular technology or why you chose this particular field 
if you are in computer science so then other question is teach that how uh, how would you teach a particular concept to your friend that's a basic question like if you want to teach someone something then how you could reach out to the person who doesn't knows the concept and you have to either choose in these three uh, three topics and the third one is i think so promote so which exactly means is like when you are conducting uh, events or webinars you have to uh, be uh, interacting with a lot of um, audience and you have to gather them so in gathering the audience like how you are going to promote the particular webinar so that's a crucial thing for this program so you can select any of these there is no uh, brownie points of selecting like what exactly one you have to select you can select any of the, uh, these because they are going to uh, be focus more upon your public speaking skills what uh, what you are uh, having in your mind they will be more into your thinking power so inspire uh, like as they said earlier like if you build one video you have other two op uh, options of building uh, building a essay so you have to build up essay for the same uh, i will be putting up uh, essays for this uh, particular mls application in a different video so yeah so the next part is uh, part uh, so the next part is social media so if you have written a technical blog post please provide the url so if you are writing some technical uh, blog post uh, do write your, your url over here if you are not then i think you can write one because uh, writing a blog post hardly takes some minutes and you can post it over medium or something and put a link over here so if you have recorded any technical video or a how to video so how to video what exactly a how to video means it is basically like you are telling someone about how to exactly do that particular thing and they are asking for technical how to like i in my application i did like how i uh made different backgrounds using particle gs i was explaining that thing so i put the same url over here okay so the other question other uh, option is like you have to fill in online resume or website so online resume that's basically you have to either host your resume at some place or you can also provide a drive link uh, which is shareable and you if you are having a portfolio website that's a brownie point you can also put that here but if you don't have uh, that hardly matters so get a repository so you have to i think you, you should because as this program is technically aligned you should be having one github repository and you have to provide this uh, github repository uh, repository to this particular uh, uh, url over here okay so try to give that uh, github uh, repository which is having a good readme and is actually well maintained so if you are giving that if you have a linkedin profile please provide the url so they are asking for a linkedin profile they are basically going to check about your social presence like how active you are on social media so because this program is basically about networking and spreading about tech so they are going to check about your social media presence so another thing is if you maintain your own technical blog site in any language please provide the url so yeah if you have a website which uh, where you write technical blogs you can also share the same thing over here okay so next thing is uh, if you have a pop plural site profile please provide the url so i don't know like what exactly is plural site profile let's uh, give a look okay so plural site profile maybe there would be some platform plural site and they are asking for the same uh, i don't have much information about it but i would love to learn about it so the next thing is if you have a stack overflow profile please provide the url so i have never had a stack overflow profile i just used to visit stack overflow for some bugs or maybe when i get some uh, got stuck somewhere so i don't have that uh if you have an instagram account please provide the url so i don't have an instagram account so i never put an email account url over here so if you have a twitter account please provide the url so if you are using the twitter account you can put your url over here so basically it's just that you have to put your one social media account i think you should put one social media account as there is not required sign but uh, it's better to put one because they are also going to check your social media uh, presence so it would get easier for them to get you know better 
okay so next thing is additional information so we are having over here the technologies which interest you so basically you can select multiple technologies over here which interest you like and add selected over here is web development open source artificial intelligence so is there anything else you would like to share with us so yeah this is an amazing question because here you can pitch yourself you can share your achievements anything that you want that microsoft learn student investor team uh, learn about you any great achievement any great project any great thing you did anything you want them to know so do write this thing uh, never this uh, leave the, these uh, type of questions because they are extremely very helpful uh, to get you in so this is all about the application uh, i will be posting about uh, uh, i will be posting about the essays and the video you have to build uh, in my next video stay tuned to that and stay tuned to conflow thank you